everyone, welcome back to another The Mori Plays Let's Play of Animal Crossing New Horizons, of course, on the Nintendo Switch. I think it is day 35 of our new island, which is pretty crazy. We kind of worked our way through a 30 day challenge to get where we're at. Oh my goodness, it's Agnes, please, please, just, uh, let's just leave the whole toilet subject where it is, Agnes. If you give me a toilet, I don't know what I might do. <laughs> Ever hear a story so creepy that you get a cold? Okay, I think we're learning a reaction, so we're safe from the toilets for the moment. Uh, one of the favorite reactions is perfect for that. Watch. So, all right, speaking of bones, did you know we settled on top of an ancient burial ground? That's right. There's dinosaur bones all over the place if you know where to look, which means dino ghosts. Well, you're not wrong, I guess. I learned the cold chill reaction. Brrr. There we go. Well, thank you, Agnes. Yes, lots of inside jokes about toilets. Toilets um, toilets seem to follow us in every single Animal Crossing game. So, yeah. Let's leave the toilets there for the moment. Thank you so much for being here today. I really appreciate you jumping back into this series to see how we get on today. I think we're just going to do a couple of adjustments, actually. Uh, we've got a little bit more work to do on our um, kind of tropical sorting office or our post office. Um, and we also need to do a little bit more to our kind of sacred gyroid volcano mountain, whatever that is. So we, we still don't really know what it is, but we're just kind of building with what we've got. So we have created some kind of sacred gyroid ground. Uh, but this is what we were working on yesterday, a nice little island, um, somewhat of a post office or sorting office. And we made the most of our um, mailbox as well. So what we're going to do today, actually, is hopefully... Go and see Cyrus, but before we do that, we actually have some mail. <laughs> so we're going to collect our first lot of mail, and it is a bunch of short, simple panels, because we're going to try and do some backdrops and add a little detail to this post office. So I think what we should do is go and see if Cyrus is available, um, and hopefully customize these simple panels. I'm pretty sure... Cyrus can customize the outside of them. At least that's what I'm hoping, anyway. But yeah, so let's head that way. Um, and then on the way back, we'll, uh, or afterwards, we'll come and do a little bit more work on that. We might need to adjust the shape of the island a little bit, add some patterns and stuff like that. And then we'll finish up probably on the dormant volcano and maybe just add a little bit more of a moat around that. And maybe some water features. Um, but anyway, let's get straight over to Cyrus's or Harv's Island. And hopefully Cyrus should be there now. Um, we So far we have red. We have paid for Cyrus. So I think he should be there. There's no reason why he shouldn't be. Is there anything else actually that we need to take to get crafted? We had a few things, didn't we? Uh, we should really thought this through. I think I've got a couple of things in storage that we might want to craft. So I'm going to fill our pockets, actually, with things. Um, this might be... Do you know what? I'll leave that there for a second. I think the scooter was one of them. It was too bright to go anywhere around the island. Uh, so we'll probably see if we can customize that that we've got in our storage. Um, but I don't think there's anything else. There's a couple of lights around our... Um, island that we're already using that is just the only one i think for now um that we just needed to grab from storage so we're going to go and pick up the garden light it's the one in filbert's garden it looks a little bit out of place so i'm just going to grab that as well i think everything else actually is okay everything kind of fits in this one um maybe we'll take that as well just to see if we can get any other designs. And I think the only other one was the other light in Filbert's garden here. So we're gonna take that. Just We just wanna make it look a little bit more natural or outdoorsy sort of, oh yes, can we take this as well? I'd really love to get these uh, customized as well. Uh, but yeah, we want to make things look a little bit more natural, outdoorsy, rustic. Apart from the JCB, I really want a yellow one. So I hope there is a yellow version. And of course, we want a red cone. Uh, so we'll take these with us along with the um, simple walls. And we'll see if we can get those customized. Hey, Orville. Um, we want to fly, please, straight over to Harv's Island. We've got, we've got some business to take care of. 
and items to customize. Although it's not technically us customizing them, but we've, we've got to get them customized, so we'll get Cyrus to do it. Um, I can't remember if it costs anything. We've got plenty of bells in our pockets, I'm pretty sure. If not, there is an ATM there, so we should be okay. We've got, I think we've got like 100,000 bells left. We need to do some bell grinding. We always need the bells. Never ending. I think we've got plenty though. Yeah, 60,000 bells. Right, yes, is he here? Yay! Okay, they're both here. Hey there, I've got some big news for you today. A recent Cyrus customization shop is now open. Uh, so nice to meet you. I'm Reese, and this here is my darling Psy Guy. Uh, like Half said, we're thrilled to be opening up a new shop here. My Psy Guy can customize just about anything you bring him. We'll see about that, won't we? <laughs> oh, come on now, don't go over promising things. Uh, sorry, just caught me off guard there with that intro. Let's start over. My name's Cyrus, and uh, now this lovely Reese mentioned I can customize darn near anything. Just bring it in, and I'll have a look. Oh gosh, you two lovebirds are just adorable! <laughs> I think Harv's just like, them two remind him of um, Harriet and himself. Anyway, so we finally have Reese and Cyrus. Let's get a little picture to mark the occasion. There we go. <laughs> hey, this place is a real great feel, doesn't it? Thanks again! Uh, there are some things that I can only that only I can customize. Okay, well let's have a little look at what we can customize. I, w I do like um, Cyrus's customization bench. Can, is that actually something we can get? Uh, I sure am. Let's see. I really hope we can customize these simple panels. We can. Okay, let's start from the beginning. So we want to. What else have we got here? Light grey. We need some sort of natural. Maybe the brown. Oh, the light brown would probably work well with the trees. Uh, oh, gold! Nice. Um, do we want dark brown or light brown? I'm thinking the light brown. Or the... Oh, it's so tricky. Maybe we'll go for the just the normal brown. And then we want to add some customization options here. I like that we can do it all at once. So we do have these things. Oh, wow, that looks perfect! We've got some darker ones as well. I like these. They look like little safety deposit boxes. And um, that one's quite cool as well. It really goes with this sign here. Um, I'm not entirely sure if it's the same author or creator. Um, these all look so good. I don't know which ones to go for. Let's go for these ones just because... Actually, do you know what? I'm going to go I'm going to go for these little safety deposit boxes, I think. Um, okay, order that. It only costs a thousand bells. That's not too bad, really, is it? <laughs> Especially since we had to pay a hundred thousand just to get them here. Right, let's keep going. Can we keep going? So we're gonna have to try and remember which ones we've done. So we just start. Oh, oh yes, it changes the leaf color, doesn't it? Uh, so we're gonna go with the brown again, and I think we want at least two of the same ones. So we'll do another set of these boxes. <laughs> And maybe we'll do some of the others just so we can kind of see what they look like um, and change it up as whilst we're there. So yeah, we'll definitely spend a few minutes just doing this. Um, it's quite exciting. Brown, and then let's see. Do we like the little cut? I think we like the little cubby holes as well, don't we? Uh, those do look like some drawers or something but these look like they do have like different types of letters and, and, and mail in there so maybe we'll go for a couple of these we're only going to need like two there's not going to be space to do lots and we haven't got the tall simple uh panels yet which is weird because uh, we might end up replacing them for those at some point um, let's see, so we've got this one, so we've got to just do, we've got to keep doing the same, we're going to need, whatever design we choose, we're going to need two of them, so. Um, there we go. So we've got two of the cubby holes, two of the safety deposit boxes, that's more than enough that we actually need actually. Um, so what I'm going to do as well is, how many more of those have we got left? I think we've only got one or two left, haven't we? Um, oh, we've only got four. I thought there was another one. 
Okay, well that's okay. Um, oh yes, we do have five, that's right. That's okay. Right, electric scooter, let's see what designs we've got here. We want something like not too in your face. Uh, oh, I like the Oh, the red one looks good. That doesn't look red to me. I like the white one though. The red's a little bit more subtle. Um, okay, we're gonna go for the white one, I think. That looks kind of cool. A little, a little less neon and in your face. <laughs> um, we'll probably end up just dumping it around town somewhere. It's probably not going to be a part of a build or anything. Maybe just a little bit of decoration. So we've done that. Um, so garden lantern. So I'm hoping for something a little bit more. Oh, I thought I was hoping there was a mossy version. We'll go for the. Is that bronze? Kind of looks like. Doesn't look bronze, but we'll go for the bronze. Because it's just, again, not so um, contrasty, if that makes any sense. We just want it to be a little bit more subtle. Okay, we, we keep going, Cyrus. Why do you keep exiting the conversation? Can we just please keep going? Right, so we've got the next Garden Lantern. This is costing us a fortune! Yeah, I thought there'd be more, more options for that one. I'm surprised there's not like a gold one. Um, like, different colours, mossy, grey. Um, we'll check the rest while we're here as well. Got a pocket full of stuff. So, bulldozer, this is the one. Can we get a yellow one, please? Yay! The yellow one looks so good. This is expensive. Okay, we're definitely going to trade it in for the yellow one there. I love how quick Cyrus can apparently paint an entire bulldozer. If this was New Leaf, we'd have to come back tomorrow to pick it up. Um, okay, let's keep going. And we want... Oh, we've got a cushion on us. Oh, I forgot we could do this. <laughs> We haven't really got anything that would be suitable for this cushion. Oh, post office cushion! <laughs> That's kind of cool, isn't it? Do we want like a post office cushion? I mean, we'll do it just for the sake of doing it, I think. I don't know what we're going to use it for, but it's pretty neat. So, and at least we get an excuse to use the design. So we've still got the cone to do. Um, oh, the shopping bag, the smoker, and the cone. Here we go. Those are th some things I bought from Nooks yesterday. Red, classic red cone there. Oh, we got stripey. Ooh, stripe. Uh, oh, is there a danger one? <gasps> wow, danger. We've got a an actual reflective stripes. That's kind of what the cones look like in this country. Uh, these two are like the ones we have the most here. Um... Ooh, I don't know which one to go for. These are obviously danger for... That would make sense, but I kind of want... That's a traffic cone. It's either a plain red cone, which kind of looks weird now. I've seen the ones with the, the de extra detail. Let's go for the, the caution one. Just because, you know, caution is a bulldozer. It's not technically a traffic cone because it's like a construction site. So that's what we'll go with anyway. But now I'm curious what we can do with this shopping bag as well. Because we've got a cute little shopping bag. So we might as well check the other two whilst we're here. And it definitely pays to come and see Cyrus anyway. Because some of the items... Or some of the customization options are only even visible through Cyrus. Oh, it's just the bag. Uh, the item... Oh, the apple changes colour. <laughs> what a strange detail. Um, if you really hate red apples, I mean... You can get a green apple, I suppose. Um, do you know what? I'm just going to put... Wait, what option is it? Is it already this option? Okay. And let's check the smoker scenes we're here. Green, black, or silver. Oh, we could use this in the campsite. Let's change it to a black one. Would you have a smoker at a campsite? I suppose you might. We might be able to place it in the barbecue, maybe. Okay, that is our business concluded on Harv's Island. Do we want to pay for anyone else to be here? Um, oh, what's Red got today? Oh, interesting. A 
weird thing. How much is this? I won't lie, an awful lot of folks have been asking me about um, about the buying that informative statue. Okay. Um, but maybe the price is uh, it's still about the same uh, same price. Can we have a closer look? I mean, is this one of the haunted ones or? I don't know. Um, let's see. In the forgery, the, Ros the Rosetta Stone is colored blue and glows in the night. Oh, that would be kind of cool. So this is a fake, but it glows. In but the fake glows at night time. Hmm. I, I, I'm tempted. Oh, wait, can we zo oh, we could zoom in a bit. I'm too late. I think we're going to buy it just because it glows. Yeah, we'll buy it just so it glows. Can we buy the other one as well? Only once per day. Okay, right, let's get back. We'll come and get another um, market stall opened maybe another day. We've got jobs to do. I'm excited about making like a meteor impact site now. Um, what other items could we put around that? Is there any kind of weird spooky alien stuff? Other than like the UFO and things like that. Um, but I think like a glowing meteor impact would be really good. We should build it at night time and then it would also give us an idea for Or oh, yeah, we'll have a look at the campsite at the night time getting distracted by the artwork there That wasn't even why we went there <laughs> But it did spark some inspiration. So that's a good thing. Yeah, we need some maybe construction stuff like maybe some like scaffolding or something that we can put around it so, so it's like People are aware of this meteor impact, they've kind of covered it. But anyway, we'll, we'll talk more about that tomorrow. Right, before we head back over to our tropical little uh, post office sorting room, just gonna double check inside Nook's Crown and see if there's anything we need. We have some tables. We do seem to have a lack of tables, but uh, nothing crazy, I think. We're not too bothered about that. Maybe we'll catalog those later. Right, let's go and place our items back down. We can find somewhere for the scooter. I don't know exactly where the scooter can go. But I know where the bulldozer can go. And that is going to go here. Let's see how it looks in yellow. It looks so good in yellow. There we go. And of course we can put the hazardous um, cone. Yeah, that looks so cool, doesn't it? That looks really good. I'm glad we took those. Uh, not entirely sure about the scooter. We haven't really got anywhere to put a scooter, have we? We can put one of these lights back, though. So we just changed it from black to like a... Br I don't think that's... I suppose it is kind of bronzy, um, but it's just more of like... A dull metallic-y grey. So I think that's it's a little bit more subtle. It fits in a little bit better there, doesn't it? Um, hey, Flora. I suppose we could even just kind of leave... What, oh, do you know what? Let's put it up against this lamppost if we can fit it in. Um, electric kick scooter. I think we should be able to just... Oh, it's going to look a bit weird. Um, can we get any closer than that? No. That's a shame, but we'll leave it there anyway. A little bit of detail. And we'll go and give Philbert his garden lantern back. You stay away from those toilets, Agnes. Um, garden lantern, there we go. That looks so much better. It's not as, it doesn't pop as much. It fits in a bit better, at least for my eyes. And um, hopefully that's the same for everyone. Uh, hey, Tiffany, better not be stealing any vegetables in that basket. There you are, Bun Bun! Uh, and looking fabulous as ever, I see. Let's chat. Island life is so invigorating. Staying inside all day would be a terrible waste. I don't know if I agree with that. I like staying inside. Um, oh, we're going to need to get some more ladders so we can get down here a bit better. Right, let's go and see if we can adjust our post office a little bit. This is kind of mainly what I wanted to do today. Um, I want to kind of give it a bit of a backdrop. So I'm hoping we can fit some... Well, we might have to cut the cliff a little bit. Except we won't be able to because the tree is in the way. <laughs> um, or maybe we could... Maybe we might be able to fit two things in here. So let's try... Let's see what looks best. Um, we 
might even be able to mix it up a little bit, actually. We might not necessarily have to have the two same items. I mean, that looks good. Let's put the this thing back. The original. Oh, we didn't change the color of the post office one. That was the whole reason we went there. <laughs> um... Okay, so let's see. let's see what this looks like now with the gazebo. We might... Let's see, that looks kind of cool. Yeah, that looks good. I think. I don't know whether we want two... Cu the, the cubby holes look quite more professional, don't they? Uh, we'll get the gazebo back. Standing just a little bit in the way there. Yeah, push that back. There we go. That looks really cool. I think we could get away with having a safety deposit box um, behind there somehow. Can we? We have to dig this bush up, aren't we? Actually, do you know what's easier? It's just going to pick this up again. Um. Oh, we, can we fit two in? I mean, it'd be a bit silly to put it behind the tree, actually, wouldn't it? I think we need it half behind the tree, though. Um, let's put the other one down as well. Right, have we left enough space here? For, this is the first time I've ever used patterns to create somewhat of a building. So if it looks absolutely ridiculous, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I think it would look better, of course, if we had the tool screens. We don't have those. So for now, this, this will just have to do. But I don't think we can move these any closer, can we? Um... And we want, we're going to want to put the post office one back here. Uh, which one is it then? This one? Right, can we fit through? I might end up removing this tree, in all honesty. Um, it's just a little bit too in the way, isn't it? I think it would look better if we can free up the, the outside of it. I do like... Oh, now it looks a bit weird. I don't know! <laughs> Where's this bloom present? Oh, it landed on the... <laughs> landed on the thing. Let's see what we got here. We got a fence. Oh, neat. That is a cool item to get. Interesting. That could be that could be good for fencing off our meteor, maybe. Right, we really need to go and I need to change the colour of this post office sign, so I'll be back. Okay, I quickly went back to Cyrus's to change the background color or the the outside of this uh, um, simple wall and it looks much better than the black wood I think uh, so there we go um, the question is do we want another tree here because it kind of looks weird about a tree now but if we put a tree here we're not going to see the sign um, so maybe it would be better, maybe, to put the post office sign that side, and then we could put the other thing there. There we go. Those are in line, actually, aren't they? That's pretty good. And then if we could put the other one here, like so. I wish there was a way we could push it a little bit behind the tree by half a tile. Um, 
think sh uh, I think we could do that if we just quickly terraform. It's just poking out a little bit too much for my liking. I'm very particular about weird things like that. It looks a little bit too far to the right. So what I'm going to do is just terraform quickly this bit. <laughs> the effort we go to. See what it looks like if we do that. Oh, now we can't see it. Maybe, uh, maybe it was okay. Did we push that? No, we can't push it while that's there. Um, I think that's probably okay, actually. Um, yeah. Right, let's get rid of this little bit of thing that we did again. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we create so much work for ourselves, don't we? Um... There we go. Just trying to get that angle. No! <laughs> Why? Do you know what it... I always thought it was good that Animal Crossing didn't have kind of a weird cursor hovering over the tile that you're about to hit. But sometimes I'm like, I kind of wish it was an option that we could turn on. Um, you know how in like Stardew Valley or something? Where you know where you're about to hit. Um, there we go. Yeah, you know where you're about to hit because it highlights the tile you're on type thing. I also think we need to move the tree over a little bit. But I don't know if we can... I think we tried this yesterday, didn't we? It was too close to this thing here. So what I might do then is just extend this out. Just to get another... There we go, just to move this over a little bit. I think that will be worth it to make it a bit bigger, just to get another tree. We still can't get it in there. We need it on this one, don't we? So we're, just, we're, we're making adjustments, we're making adjustments. We might not get around to the volcano today, but that's okay. There we go. I just wanted to make this a little bit bigger. Actually, I'm going to get rid of this stepping stone as well. So we should be able to hop over like that. There we go. And uh, what this does is just freeze up the... Uh, just freeze up this uh, these uh, safety deposit boxes. Um, so we can see them a bit better. And again, once, they're, once we upgrade them to the larger simple wall. I think that'll look much better. But I love the little cubby holes at the back and actually it reminds me of that red item. Uh, the crazy red item in the GameCube version of Animal Crossing where it's just a bunch of cubby holes and it's a really cute item. So it really reminds me of that which is quite nice. Uh, but I think that looks good. Uh, we've got one extra bush we can put somewhere. Maybe we could just throw that uh, here. Like so. And yeah, we might want to, we need a, we need like a one tile path, don't we? I suppose for now we could just use, oh, we could use some wooden, a wooden path actually. <gasps> yeah, let's do, okay, I totally forgot. I was thinking so much about the patterns and trying to make things look unique that I forgot about the default wooden path we've got here. Um, we're gonna have to pick this up. <laughs> do you know what? I'm gonna probably put a path on the entire thing actually. I swear I can hear, um, I swear I can hear a balloon. Isn't it mad that that sound does that to us? Right, I'm going to just try and curve this off there. Nice little curved effect. Put these panels back. Um... So, 
Yeah, I'm quite proud of this. I always see people's builds that use custom patterns on these kind of items to make them look even more special. And I've always been jealous that I haven't been able to do something good. I think we're close to it, though. I think this is pretty cool. Um, let's see here. This is the gazebo. Put that back in there like so. <gasps> that looks so cool. We need some, like, potted flowers or something, don't we? We've got the zen cushion. Um... I don't know why we have a Zen cushion, but we could use it, maybe? As like a little rest spot. Oh, that is super cute. Super cute. It's a shame we can't put it inside the gazebo. Um, right, okay, we need some flowers or something. It's still missing something, isn't it? So I know we have one potted flower. Oh, I know, I know what it's missing. It's missing some bell bags. Um, yeah, let's put some... Oh, it's missing the post box. <laughs> I almost totally forgot to put the post box there, but also some bell bags. I can't believe we nearly forgot the main item. That would have been awkward. There we go. That looks good there anyway. I think we're going to go to see Nook and see what our customized op customization options are for those. Um, I might just put some bell bags here instead of the cushion. Uh, let's just do 10,000. Um, and drop it here. Can we drop another one? Okay, we can't get them close to the thing for some reason. Okay, that doesn't look good, so good hidden there, so... Um, let's try and do it here. Oh, they keep going on the exact tiles. Is there a bell bag item, like a dummy bell bag item that we can then move? Um... Okay, we can't put any bell bags there, because I want them on the half tile. Again, I'm being very picky about where I want things. Right, that looks really good, actually. Um, I don't think we've got any one-tile patterns that would go... Oh, we've got some autumn dirt patterns here, actually. Um, I don't know what they look like. Um... Let's just try... Oh, that doesn't look too bad, actually. That looks kind of cool. I think it is the same. It's not the same color as this, obviously, but I think it matches the dirt path. I'll display here. No, sorry. Display on ground. There we go. They are slightly different. Again, it adds a little bit of character. Just a little something, something extra. Um, just found the ground. And then we'll put one p behind here, probably, as well. I'm glad we have a one-tile one. Sometimes that's all you need is, like, a little extra tile, isn't it? That looks really good! That looks so good! I can't believe it! Um... Okay, we we'll probably have to plant some more stuff up on the top of the cliff at some point. It's a shame. Oh, it's a shame I've got a money tree over here. Hmm. Do you know what would be really cool? A money coconut tree. I wonder if we should put a money tree up there. All right, anyway, let's go and just chat with Tom Nook and see if we can get this, uh... This, um, mailbox customized. I think we have to do it with him, don't we? So, we've upgraded now. So we should be able to adjust our mailbox design because we're able to move the mailbox now. So I'm pretty sure. Hey, Tom. Ah, <laughs> um, oh, Maury, hello, hello. Right, let's see here. Um, about my home. Time to talk about your home. I want to customize. Here we go. This is this is the one. I want to customize. Five thousand bells. To be fair, 
all the bells originate if you go far back enough from Tom Nook. Somewhere along the lines, apart from the bell trees and the money rocks. So, and even he probably puts the bells in the money rocks. Um, so we don't mind paying him. Right, let's see here. So, ah, oh, mailbox, here we go. I really like the rustic one though. It's just so cute and it's just like so homemade, isn't it? Um, I don't think the large ones would look good on there. We could go for more of a classic um, red square mailbox. Um, or the or do we want to go to the ordinary one? That's the ultimate classic one, isn't it? Let's see what it looks like over there. So that's the classic one. It has to be red. All mailboxes have to be red, right? Um, I don't know. I kind of like that one. It reminds me of something. It reminds me of something out of Pokemon, maybe. It just looks familiar. I don't know. It's reminding me of something. This is cute as well. Um, but it doesn't scream sorting office, does it? This screams sorting office. But maybe that's too big and too in your face. Why is there not any more rustic versions? They're so cute. I'd like a red version of that, maybe. This is probably the closest you get to that. Um, do you know what? We might have to go for the classic. Do we want to go for... No, we can't. I can't bring myself to use the green. The red just makes way much more sense. But do you know what? I kind of like the... I'm kind of wanting to leave it rustic. Because it looks more natural. Let's have a vote. Should we have the red mailbox or one of the others? Or should we leave it rustic? And let me know in the comments of this video, and then we'll decide tomorrow. But, yeah, I kind of like the way the rustic natural version looks. There's not any more natural versions, is there? It kind of is what it is. The more rustic and natural it looks, the more I think it's going to fit in with the, uh, the kind of natural feel of our tropical little post office slash sorting office. This is obviously where all the mail goes. Yeah, it just looks so much better. I think if you put a red one there, it's going to look weird. So maybe we'll just leave it as that. But yes, look at this. This looks so good. Oh yeah, I was trying to go and get some flowers, wasn't I? Um, let's get up to this. I think we have a potted flower up here. Or a potted tree. We have something in here. Get something out. We have this. A cypress plant. That's the only thing, really, that we could probably place here. Um, and it's in a nice pot as well, so I think that will do. I don't think, if we add too much more to it, it's going to lose its charm, I think. Um, but let's see if we can just place this plant somewhere. It doesn't have to be... I mean, it can literally just be at, on the outside. It depends where we can get it to drop. Oh, it's bigger than I thought it was. Um, I like the way it's moving in the wind. It's blocking our path now, though. It's the only trouble there. Um... Okay, maybe we don't have space for it. We definitely can't place things inside, can we? No. And we definitely can't drop anything on the inside. It seems like a missed, a missed opportunity to drop something on the inside here, but... There we go. I think that's it then. We probably don't need that plant. I think this is it. We just need to maybe add some weeds and to the top there, some more patterns, more bushes and something, but it probably could use some flowers. Um, okay, it's going to use some flowers. I'm going to go and get these ones that I dumped over here, actually. Uh, oh, I forgot we can run up and then run down again. We weren't making use of these, so let's, uh... Uh, let's just grab these, and maybe they will fit in. They're kind of bright and summery enough to fit on a tropical island, I feel like. Wait a minute, is that some more hybrids over there? <gasps> We've got some more hybrids over there! 
a red cosmos, I think it was. Uh, sorry, an orange cosmos. Okay, so we definitely need to put a couple of flowers here. Uh, let's put the red one there and the yellow. Let's put the white one here as well. And then, is it going to cover the post office sign if I put that there? That's okay. I don't like where I put the, the white one. Oh no! <laughs> What I'm going to do instead, actually, is move the bush to here. And then... There we go, put that white one there. There we go. No, I don't like where this bush is. Nice, just a couple of flowers, not too much, but there we go. That's probably one of the best builds I've ever done, I think. So what do we think? Does it look okay? I think we just need to adjust the back cliffs a little bit and add a bit more detail there. But for the first tier here, I think this looks really cool. It's kind of, there's some wear here where people come and collect their mail. and have got a little bit of a professional sorting office here and made use of some really unique patterns. So... Yeah, let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed it. I think we're just going to stop there, though. We probably haven't got enough time to then go into the other build, so we'll maybe we'll do that another day. Uh, but yeah, so far, this is the progress of our tropical post office slash sorting office. And I think it just goes to show the power of adding some paths and some patterns. And, you know, if you can't create them like me, just get them off the portal. Like, I have to. Like, I can't create them, so I have to go and get them off the portal, and that's absolutely fine, because there's some amazing patterns on there. And um, that's what we've done here, of course. Every single pattern you see, we got off the portal because we can't make our own very well. So, uh, don't, definitely don't be scared to do that, and it just goes to show what a few little details here and there can really make a build look so much better. Um, but there we go. Let me know what you think. I would like to replace them, of course, especially the back ones with the, the taller ones. Um... But we haven't got those yet. But there we go. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I really appreciate you tuning in every day. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think. And don't forget to let me know if you think we should keep the rustic mailbox. Or whether we should upgrade it for a different one. Uh, let me know your preference in the comments. And we'll of course look into it tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. A huge shout out to the channel members. Couldn't do it without you. You're absolutely awesome. Thank you so much. And I'll see you all in the next one. Have a great day. Bye.